Was that performance at the MTV Video Music Awards with Aerosmith kind of weird? It wasn't with Aerosmith. It was with Johnny Depp. That's right. But Aerosmith was there. They they announced us. Yeah. I remember like watching that and like there was like a speech that went on before it where they like called you guys like future rock gods or something like that. I couldn't hear it. See, that's the thing about the on stage. Like you can't like unless it's coming through the monitors, right? You can't hear what anybody's saying. Yeah. We were on stage the other day. We were doing some an interview for like iHeartRadio or something. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was like the guy was interviewing me with a microphone on stage, but it, this shit, I was like, I just was like, <laughs> excuse me, I, I, it's like I can't, I can't hear what you're saying. It was so uncomfortable, but yeah, I don't know. That was a weird thing. We we, we performed at the MTV Movie Awards in 2012. That was that year where like basically we had basically said like, you know, you talk about embarrassing things. If you don't, I mean, I think that we had basically said we'll agree to do pretty much anything within reason. Um, rather than say no, uh, right. uh, preemptively. Like r- if we haven't tried done it, we'll try it. So that's what we did. Like a lot of stuff that I don't regret doing, but I'll probably never do it again. You know what I mean? But right. like uh, mm-hmm. what, I don't, you know, getting to play on stage at the MTV Movie Awards. Uh, that, that you know they wanted a celebrity to play with us, so Johnny Depp come up. And we're like, yeah, that's fine. Let's play with Johnny Depp. Was he cool? Very cool. He's actually a decent guitar player. Yeah, I, I didn't. Even yeah, like I just thought it was a trip until, because, like, yeah. you know, like it was like, you know, here I am, like at the time, uh, at the time on stage, I had this thing where I was like, I'm only wearing blue button down shirts because I can just have them for f- like forty bucks from J Crew, and like I can roll the sleeves up and like fuck it, it's just kind of like my Jetsons look. Yeah, and I, uh, so I basically dressed as like I look, I look like a clerk at Kinko's. <laughs> And these dudes were like fucking so, ju- dude. Like, I was watching after the show, watching Johnny Depp, Steven Tyler, and Joe Perry all stand next to each other, dude, with like progressively more flair. Yeah, yeah. All <laughs> just like do. so, more and more rings and scarves. It was like, dude, it was like sort of Joe Bracelets, Perry. Joe yeah. Perry had like you know just one ring on each finger, a one scarf. And then Steven Tyler had you know, met, and then Johnny Depp was just like. <laughs> <laughs> Here's all There's my shit. Pedantana's wrapped around her wrist, like just ready to go. And then like, you look in the mirror Geico. and you had all of it on too. You're like, how the fuck did I get here? <laughs> oh, what would what if they would have been like, hey, you gotta go if if you're going out on stage with us, you gotta dress like us. Like a pirate. Like, yeah, basically like a pirate. Yeah. Even though that's not you, would you have sucked it up and done it? Or would you have been like, fuck off? I would have I, I wouldn't have been able to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't re- remember ever seeing this. I can't wait to pull this up. I know, after I can't I haven't seen Colin talking about it. Well, that's the thing, that's the sad thing about like our careers that we got to do all this stuff when it didn't matter anymore. It was pre <laughs> it was, it was pre, no, but it was like, like pre social media. But like, after like the MTV Well, I mean like what, Twitter was still there. Well MTV yeah. no, I mean MTV movie words haven't mattered since like nineteen ninety two probably or something. You guys you aren't mean? performing this year, right? No, no, no. All right, cool. Then we can say whatever we want now. Yeah, no. Uh, well, I mean, I'm saying like that stuff when you were a kid, when when there was only like... That was the shit. It, it was huge. There, yeah, it was huge. It, was, it huge. was like, it was like, oh, yeah. like. But now it's like, you know, being on Saturday Night Live was like, dude, that was like the end all be all. That's still pretty big, though. It's big, but it doesn't compare to what it was. I dude, feel like... like dude, the, the viewership is like... Minuscule. It's minuscule compared to it. I know, but I feel like today it's more of an honor to be the musical guest than it is to be the host. The host yeah. Because really? Yeah, I think it's still a big platform. I still for watch it. Every, I still songs. watch it every week. Still, I still love the show. What uh, do you think about them get like they're switching out cast and shit like that? It just made me feel old because the last time we were on it was like Pete Davidson's first year, Kyle Mooney's first yeah. year. You guys haven't been on since then. We haven't been on since 2014. Really? Yeah, I think it's because the night before we went on, like Dan went out really late. <laughs> <laughs> <I was> like <laughs> he's like he definitely used all of his serotonin. 